to what our cave system is made out of. This is all limestone formation. All the pathways that we're about to go on are 90% natural. Everything was carved out by a mixture of water and sulfuric acid. This entrance room is really important to us in our human history. The first explorers of this cave were the Hohokam Native Americans. They were here between 900 and 1450 AD. And we know this because we found some pottery in here, some ceremonial things, a bow and arrow. And if you all look over here to your right, way up there on the ceiling, there are some black spots. And these are smoke stains or soot stains from their campfires and torches. Now some of the shinier black spots really close to your heads right here in the middle, that is bat guano. That's the source of that amazing smell that you're enjoying. It will get worse as we go through. Yeah. Back food, everyone. All right, eyes all adjusted, any questions? Any hands raised? Okay. As we go down, there's 10 to 15 foot drops on either side of us. For those of you taller than myself, if you are taller than 5'5", five five, you are doomed the entire way. Squeeze into the right here, okay? So all of us. All right, my person, I'm actually going to squeeze in front of you. Can you bump into a stone or something interesting? I'll be there. Now we are in picture-friendly caves, so yes, grab 
pictures. Just mind your flash. Do not find the poor guy if you do need her. And if at any point in this tour, if you do happen to see a bat fly through, do not flash the bat. Start with bats, release everything in her body. Yeah, not an experience you want today. Now this beautiful room, this is called the Crystal Forest, named for the crystal formations. These sharp, pointy crystals hanging above your head, they look like icicles. These are called stalactites. The easiest way to remember them is by saying they hang tight to the ceiling. Now these are formed a very long time ago by water dripping from the surface of the cave. And as the water dripped through the many layers of bioplastic limestone, which is limestone that is full of compacted, fossilized marine animals like fish and snails. The water would gather calcium, mixed it with carbon dioxide, droop down to form those calcite crystal stalactites. So in very overly simplified terms, those are hard water streams. <laughs> Something to think about, everyone. You may notice that nothing in here is dripping water right now. That's because Fossil Cave is not a wet living cave. This is a dry, dormant cave system. Dry dormant caves are very rare. They only make up around 5 to 10% of the world's entire caves. And because we're in that dormant stage, everything in here is covered over with this really thick layer of protective dirt or debris. So in order to see an exposed calcite crystal, we have to look at this guy right here beside me. And this formation is called a stalagmite. They usually form under the stalactites. So the stalactites drip down, they grow this calcite deposit underneath. And the reason that this one has an exposed crystal is because a lot of people have rubbed off a protective layer of dirt with their bare hands. Now there's so many layers of oil, salt, sweat, lotions, germs, you name it, on this rock, it has a barrier on it, like a raincoat. So if we ever do get water in the cave, now the water will drip down, roll off the side, and this formation won't grow. So this is called a dead formation. So I can tell you, you don't touch the rocks. This is the one exception, though. This is Old Baldy, the good luck rock. We if you touch him, you won't bump your head. So a couple of you, you might want to give this a try. Now, this is the one and only rock we let you touch. Get it out of your system, right here. 